Good morning. Good morning, children. Now, as we inform, as I informed yesterday, class, chapter seven, coordinate geometry. This I can say geometry and coordinate system. A bridge between geometry and algebra. That is coordinate geometry. It's a bridge. We give it that we need algebra, we need geometry. Like a bridge. You call now S coordinate, Y coordinate, that means Cartesian plane. One answer you told as coordinate, Y coordinate, that is coordinate geometry. Okay, fine. I am studying that. See, this is a line, number line, zero, one, two, three. Here, minus one, minus two, minus three, it is going on there. This is a horizontal number line. Now, one vertical number line. Here, vertical number zero here. One, two, minus one, minus two, like that. Now, what I am doing, what I am telling, here, the number line, this two number line, this I am making x axis and y axis. I am bringing this here, making, putting this. Suppose this is s dash x, and this is y y dash. That is a number line. I am bringing here. It is intersecting here. This is my y y dash. Here it will be plus. Here will be minus. So we are getting the coordinate system. That means Cartesian plane. This is called Cartesian plane. What you told exactly, x dash x is the x axis, y y dash, that is called the y axis. Now here, four quadrants are there. That means I am cutting this full. Plane is a plane now, but plane is the Cartesian plane is a full. I am cutting it. How many parts I cut this one? How many parts? One, two, four parts. Four parts. That means one <laughs> by four. That means what is the name of that quadrant? What is it? Four quadrants. Four quadrants, that means one by four of 360, 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree. One by four of this plane. Now tell me which is the first quadrant. This is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, no? No, that before that. Yes, this one? Yes. Which quadrant this one? Third. Third, fourth, good. That means which direction this one? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. After that, we study here. In first quadrant, all are cos g plus plus. Suppose I'm taking a point, this one. P, point P, I'm taking this one here. Tell me what is the coordinate of this point P. Here I think. Tell me what is the coordinate. First quadrant. What three, is the coordinate? Two. Three, two. Two. Okay, fine. Now here, here three, here this two. Suppose I am telling you two, three. It is also correct, no? No. Where is two, three? First exercise. Where is two, three? First quadrant or second quadrant? Where is that? It is also first quadrant, right? Yes. Two, two, three here. Correct? This is Q. Two, three. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes. Now tell me this point. What is the point? 
this part. What is the name of the supposition? Zero. Uh, minus two? Zero. No, no. Minus two, zero. Now, what about this point? Line L. What is the point? This point. This point. Minus two, zero. This point. I want this point here. Zero two, I can see one two. What is that? Zero two. What what? Zero and two. Zero two comma two. What about this point? Two zero. Two zero. So you know the difference. Two zero. Zero two. See two zero is here. Zero two is here. Why like this? Both are zero and two. No? This is two zero and zero two. What is the difference? The points are. Because you want to represent x axis first. Two. Okay, two s coordinate and zero y coordinate. First, that is a conventional method only. What we can say, don't change the method. First, we are telling any point. Suppose m, this is minus four and minus two or two. That means s coordinate is minus four and y coordinate is two. Or another word you studied for this point. Abscissa is minus four, and ordinate is two. Are you remembering or not? Everybody see one. Abscissa. Abscissa is minus. That means s coordinate, and this is ordinate. Class five you studied this. No class nine you studied this. Ordinate. Yes. Remember that. Abscissa first. That means s coordinate first. And y coordinate second. Now minus five two. It is here minus five two. No, oh. second order contract. Here no minus yes. five two. Okay fine. That means what we observe. Not it. All the, all are here plus plus. Here what is this? Minus plus. Can I say minus plus? Here, all the points are minus. All the points are minus. X coordinate is minus. Y coordinate is minus. Minus two, minus three. Here, last coordinate, fourth coordinate. X coordinate is plus and Y coordinate is minus. That means plus and minus, right? Yes. Okay. That is what. Not it. That means this is the coordinate I am talking about. All of you, right? Four quadrants are there. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. All of you write in Cartesian plane. We can divide. We can divide the Cartesian plane for in anti-clockwise. That draw this first and first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Then all are positive. First quadrant all are both plus plus. Second quadrant minus plus, third quadrant minus minus, and fourth quadrant plus minus. All of you write it. Okay, I think you understood that. What I told everything is the abscess. Then the introduction you can see everything. They are telling in class nine you have studied. I understood you studied because you responded. Coordinate geometry. I told you this is a bridge between algebra and geometry. This completed. Write the heading, chapter seven, coordinate geometry, and write what I told.
I think all of you completed this one. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, here we are talking new that means distance formula. Distance between two points. We studied how can we represent the point as coordinate and y coordinate. We need for that. We can represent that. All right, everything is there. Now here, we want to study distance formula. Distance formula. Right side is in distance formula. Distance. Listen here. Suppose one point is here, another point is here. Mm. Then this is eight. Seven. This point is one, three, suppose. How can we find out the distance? We can represent this, we can, we can plot this point now in coordinate system, these two points. Now, how can you find out the distance? That is a formula is the method also there in your textbook. You can see that distance formula. Now, all of you open pay number 156. Pay number 156. You can see the north, south, then after that, we are reaching one formula. Distance formula, we are reaching there. You can read that from home. Now here, pay number 158. We are getting a formula. That means, by reading, you will understand applying Pythagoras theorem. By applying Pythagoras theorem, we get find out that means I told you a quadrant system this distance you have to find out that means we are making a right triangle a centimeter this is seven centimeter here join in this one now Again, we are getting a triangle here. Suppose this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E. Now, figure is like that only, but don't confuse. You have to use Pythagoras. Here, what we need now? You know this is the origin x x dash y y dash. What is Pythagoras theorem? Tell me what is Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse what? is equal to root of square plus base square. But you have to start in a right triangle. Pythagoras means they're telling in a right triangle. Hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. Hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. That is the formula. Hypotenuse square is equal to Pythagoras telling like that term. Hypotenuse square. Hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. Or altitude square and perpendicular square symmetry. In short, we can say hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of 
other two sides. Isn't it? In a right triangle, and drawing a right triangle here. This is hypotenuse. Suppose this is three, this is four. What is this? How much is this one? Right four square right. plus three square. Four square plus three square. That is Pythagoras theorem. I am extending that maybe in math lab you did what I am doing. I am making this a square. In small class, in class six, seven, you study this one. Square. Four square is 16. Area of this square. Area of the base square. Then here also. I am making a square, not rectangle, okay. square. So three square. What is this? Nine. Nine. Now, what will be the hypotenuse? Anybody know this method? I think study before, maybe math lab you will. Here also you are getting one square. It will be exactly nine plus sixteen. That means twenty-five. Square of this, square of hypotenuse, so what I can base, square of other two sides. I am making this side a square. I am making another side perpendicular square. It will be 25 the area. That means root of 25. Five. That means five. Exactly, five square is 25. That means hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides or a square is equal to b square plus c square anyway you can manipulate remember this square of the hypotenuse is equal to square of the base plus square of the perpendicular square of other two sides what i am telling here i am making a square here i am making another square here that means exactly you can do from home draw any right triangle and you can see many cells are called the square, square, square. I think you did this experiment. This experiment is chosen though. Seventh or eighth law. Are you chosen though? Ah, okay, fine. Then it is very easy. You did this one in class eight book or some book. Anyway, then we are applying here. Pythagoras theorem we are applying. Okay. Now, according to that. We need, we have to find out the distance. Now, what is this height? Tell me what is, we need this height now. What will be this one? This is one three. Here, we need the height. What is this? And what is this? Can I say this is this height is, is one three, two three, four three, five three. Here the height is coordinate y coordinate is three. Yes. Yes. Now this height, what is this height? Four. Four. That means seven minus three. This is seven and this is three. Seven minus three is four. Now, we need this height also. What is this height? This is, what is this? Up to here, what? What is Seven. this? No, no, what is this? Here, 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 here. Eight. Eight. Eight, three. Here, one, three. That means up to here, one. Up to here, eight. What is it? Seven. 7 that means 8 minus 1 i am doing the, i am manipulating i am making the formula 8 minus 1 that is 7 7 minus 3 4 we got 7 we got 4 can i say 7 square plus 4 square is equal to this height hypotenuse square in a right triangle hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides don't look here. 
this is 4, this is 7, so it will be 4 squared plus 7 squared. Am I right? Yes. Because yes, sir. 8, 7. I know it is 8, year 8. Yeah, my drawing is not correct. I can say here 7, 6, 9, that is going on anywhere. 8, I can change to here. SS dash, YY dash, this is the origin of that one. Anyway, if it is A7, we can say this is 8, up to here 8, coordinate. Now, if this is 1, 3, we know the height is everywhere 3, 3, this is a parallel line, parallel line, 3, so 8. Is the 8, 3 getting a common style? E point, A, B, C, D, E, F, fish. Fish F point is A3. Put to the minus line. Yes. Is there one three already given? Alle. Now we can make the form. What I did? My hypotenuse square is equal to X one minus X. What is this? Seven minus three. That means. Here, 8 minus 1 whole square. That means, suppose this is x1 and this is y1. This is s2 minus y2. Does it matter? Can I say 7 means x1 minus s2? x1 minus s2. Yes. Then 7 square means S1 minus S2 or square plus 4 square means 7 minus 3. That means Y1 minus this is Y2. This is also Y2. This is from here we are getting this one S1 Y1. Now here. S1, Y2, Y2, this Y2, that means Y1 minus Y2. All square, that is equal to AB square. S1 minus S2, all square, plus Y1 minus Y2, all square, that means 4 square plus 7 square. That means a b square. We got it. We need the distance between a and b. Square root we have to take now. So a b is equal to root of s1 minus s2 whole square plus y1 minus y2. This is the form. Distance formula. Two, three pages, one or two, three pages. Then square. Square root, we are doing. Does it matter as 2 minus as 1? Does it matter because here yeah, square is there? Maybe this as 1 minus as 2, as 2 minus as 1. Does it matter? I'm taking this as as 1, y1, as 2, y2. But the formula will not affect you now. If minus also come in, minus square is plus. We can write this as 1 minus as 2 all square plus y1 minus y2 all square. Or S2 minus S1 all square plus Y2 minus Y1 also. All of you write the heading the distance formula. <clears throat> Sir, you want to write a derivation? Definition of formula, distance formula. Many things I told, Pythagoras I called. And you told me what is Pythagoras theorem. Applying that, no need, only write distance formula. Then write the formula, you can draw the figure. There. Distance formula, then draw the figure as in the textbook, page number 158. Draw it faster the figure.
write the distance formula, then draw the figure in the textbook. Allah Kupa textbook in lay. Any article textbook in Lathenda? Anybody, please? Arangilu textbook in Lathenda, please raise the hand. Draw that here, one line, then another line, this is the interest book, exactly the same answer. This is the, they are marking P, Q, okay, P and Q. P and Q are given. P is how much? P is S1 Y1. Okay. S1 Y1. This is S1 Y1. S1 Y1. This is P. P is X1 Y1. This is Q. What is the coordinate of Q? S2 Y2. Right? S2 Y2. Now you have to find out the distance. We are making, what we are doing? Join that to the S axis. This also to the X axis. And we need this one. Write the formula now. All the, what I can say explanation you can read after that. Exactly same thing what I told. PQ square is equal to PT square plus QT square. PQ, PT. PT market, RS, this is X, S dash, Y, Y dash, then after that, R is, R is there, S is there. All of you write the coordinate of this one. What is the coordinate of T? Try to write the coordinate of T. Eight three. Not eight. Oh, you are doing that one? Okay, no problem. You are making this. Does it matter? Okay. X one. Yeah. What is this? Can I write S two? No. What is the S coordinate of T? Y Y one. No, why two minus y one? No, no, I am not talking about this. I am not talking this distance. As coordinate, the coordinate of t. T the coordinate. Two x two. S two, s two, and here, what is this distance up to here? Y y one. Y one. Okay. Now apply the Pythagoras theorem. I can apply Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem. In a right triangle, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. That means PQ square is equal to PT square plus QT square. That means what is PT? From here, what is PT? This distance. Because exactly the same. This is S2. This is X1. This is 10. This is 7. This is 6. What is the distance? Suppose this is 10. This is 6. What is the distance here? 10 minus 6. Here it is S2. 4. Here it is S2. Here it is X1. Now, what is this distance? This distance will be same thing, no? Same. What is this distance? Because we need PT square. What is PT square? What is PT? No, this is physical training. S2 minus X1. 
Very good. Bt square means S2 minus S1 whole square plus Qt. What is Qt? Not beauty. Qt. 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 What is Qt? Here, up to here, here you can see. This is y2. And up to here it is y1. Don't confuse s1, y1 like that. I'm talking about the measurement. No. Can I manipulate this distance y2? Qt will be y2. What is this? This distance how much? Up to here y2, am I right? Yes. Up to here y1. So yes. what is qt? What is this distance? Y2 minus y1. Excellent. Y2 minus y1. This is same distance. Then. Y2 minus y1. Here s2 minus x1. Now qt square is equal to y2 minus y1 or square. So p q is equal to root of s2 minus x1 or square plus y2 minus y1 or S2 minus S1 all square, Y2 minus Y1 all square. Yes. Okay. Exactly same and not any different. Now apply this one. You got formula. I told you this. You can write this s1 minus s2 all square plus y2 minus y1 all square because square is coming. That is why. You remember s2 minus s1 all square plus y2 minus y1 all square. Square of negative also positive. Now you can find out the distance. Now using this application level, many questions are. You can see this formula, very useful. You can find out where is your position. Suppose Alisha's school is here. Here is Alisha. So it is given maybe, for example, 150. Here, from Mukkam, somewhere here, I can say, here. This is Mukkam. Maybe this 20 and 10. Now you can find out the distance. Distance between the from Mukkam to Alisha, you can find out. What formula you can apply here? For example, distance formula. Distance formula, suppose P, Q, this one. What formula? P, Q square is equal to root of S2 minus S1 or square plus Y2 minus Y1 or square. That means S2. Tell me what is S2 here? 
root of under minus under minus twenty twenty whole square plus fifty minus ten forty square. That means eighty square plus forty square. That square root of that is not eighty square root. You will find out the distance BQ square. Now get BQ. The distance between your home and neighbor home, or my home, or your home, and Tamra Sherry, and Tamra Sherry, and Ishanti Hospital, and everywhere you can find out the distance. Okay, this is the formula. So what is the formula? Root of S2 minus S1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square. Here you can exercise. First question you can do find the distance between the following. Don't do now. Find the distance between the following pairs of points. Two, three, four, one. Now second question. What is the second question? Example. Second question. Pay number one hundred and sixty-one. So I'm going to first question, second bit, no second question, second bit. What is it? All of you write it, do it first. Example for this. Find the distance. Find the distance between minus four seven and the comma. Minus one three. All of you know this. Minus is there. Find the distance between the point between this is a. The point A, this is B. Find out. What answer you got? Two. Okay. What is the formula? A B is equal to root of B Q is equal to root of S two minus S one all square. Plus y two minus y one whole square. What is s two y? That means seven minus four. Seven minus or minus four. Two whole square plus four square. Three minus minus one. That means 
root of 144 plus 16. 144 plus 16. That means 0, 1, 11, 10, not 2, that means 6, 160. Now root of 160. Correct? Answer it here. Eight. S two. What I do? No, no, it is wrong. It is not correct. S two minus S one. That means root of P Q is equal to. S2 minus S1 or square plus Y2 minus Y1 or square. That means S2 minus, would I like this, minus 1 plus 5 or square. Minus 1 plus 5 or square plus 3 minus 7 or square. That means four square root of four square plus minus four square. That means root of sixteen plus root of sixteen root of thirty two. And then sir, what answer you got? Tell me. Root of 32. Root of 32. Okay, fine. That is the answer. Root of 32. Root 32. Don't confuse. This is here S1. This is S2. Here minus 1. Minus 4. Minus 4. Square. Distance from you cannot know. Now. The camera. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, listen here. 16 plus 16 will put that in. Now the same formula. Suppose we are starting from origin. What will happen? Remarks are there. If it is origin, it is very easy for you. The formula becomes your root of, suppose, this is from origin. That means from here it is starting, 0, 0. Then this distance is, suppose, 12 and 8. That's two. What happened? S2 minus 0. That means S2. Y2 minus 0. That is Y2. Instead of this, suppose X1 is S2, Y2. Here X1, Y1, 0, 0 because it is original. Origin from origin. So the formula becoming, suppose this is A, this is B. A B square is equal to S2 minus S1 0 square plus Y2 minus Y1. That is what is S2 minus 0? That means S2 square plus Y2 square. That means here 12 square plus A square. See, now write that. 
the distance of a point PXY from the origin. You know what is origin means? Zero, zero. The distance? The distance of a point PXY. The distance of a point the distance of a point P X one. The distance of a point P. This is the point P. P X Y. Not as true way to know it. The distance of a point P X Y. P X Y from the origin from origin origin means can I say zero zero this is the origin zero zero from origin is yes, given by origin is equal to S square plus Y square. Symbol one. Because as two minus in a rough work, you can mark the zero, zero, the BXY, as two minus zero will be S square. S square plus Y square. And S2 Y, S square, Y square. So A, B, C equal to square root of the square root of S square plus Y square. I think we have only five minutes in front, in front of us. Am I right? Eight more minutes. Okay, Eight. tell me when time is. Okay, fine. So this is distance from the origin, distance formula we studied. Now, you know triangle. In a triangle, how many lines, three lines are there? Three vertices are there? Then, before we study collinear points, non-collinear points. What do you mean by collinear points? What is collinear? Non-collinear. What is the idea about collinear points? Non-collinear. What is it? Collinear. Listen, two points are always collinear. Suppose A, B. That means we can draw a straight line. Through two points, we can draw only one straight line. Collinear points. But if one more point is there, that means you can say it is a triangle. That means Three non collinear points. Collinear, collinear. Yeah. Collinear points. If collinear point three, no, we cannot make a triangle. It must be non collinear points. Non collinear means on the same line. Two points are always collinear. That is why we can draw only one straight line through two points. But through one point, we can draw how many lines? How many lines we can draw? Through one point, how many lines? Many, many lines. Many, many lines. Many, many lines we can draw. Many, infinitely many lines. But through two points, only one line. We cannot draw another line. No, it is 
that is called collinear point. Non-collinear points means one more point. Suppose this is D. This also collinear. This is going like this. But non-collinear points, three non-collinear points are making one triangle. Three vertices, three line segments, sides of a triangle, like that. So in example, you can see types of triangles, then some more examples are there. Don't go to the alternative solution, no need of that. Now, second question, you can see, find the distance between the points origin and 3615. Can you now find the distance between the two town A and B discussed in 7.2? Okay, fine. Find the distance between the point 00, 0 and 36 and 15. I think you can do first. Second question. Find the distance between the points origin and 36, 15. What is the formula? Tell me already. You can see. X2 square root of X2. Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, yes. Root of X square plus Y square. Plus, that means, can I say root of 36 square plus 15 square? Correct? Yes. 36 square plus 15 square. 36 square, that is 6 is 36. 6 is the square? No. 36 in the 36 square root and square, don't confuse me. Okay. Now you please go through the chapter and do the whole example. Uh, read that collinear point. One question is the next class we can do. Determine the points 1, 5, 2, 3, 2 minus 11 are collinear. You know what is, there are different types of triangles. Many things you need. How many types of triangles are there? Types of triangles. I see. According to size, we can divide three. it. According to angles, we can divide it to three. According to side, scalene triangle, all sides are different. Isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. Equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. According to angle three, that means acute triangle, obtuse triangle, and right triangle. Acute triangle means, what is your idea about acute triangle? All angles are less than. less than 90 degrees. Acute obtuse triangle means one angle is more than 90 degrees. Degree. One angle that is obtuse. Then right triangle means one angle is 90 degrees. What is the, how many angles? Three angles, three sides. And these six types of triangles are. Okay then, now I am going to bind up. If you have any queries, any doubt, ask me now. Only one minute. Anything? You understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.